Hey friend, thank you for listening to Baptiste Power Vinyasa Flow Yoga with Carrie. I hope you find these practices fun and useful to your yoga practice. I put a lot of love into creating this content for you every week. Please consider joining my Patreon. Making a monthly contribution to my Patreon will ensure that I continue producing these high quality recordings every week just for you. Plus, if you join my Patreon, I will include extra bonus content like weekly meditations, longer practice recordings, and special surprises just for Patreon members. Your support means the world to me. All right, sweet friend, practice on. Hello, my friend. Let's practice. Begin in child's pose. Open your knees. Sink your booty back to your heels. Rest your forehead down and stretch your arms long in front of you. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose with a rhythmic presence. Notice the way the breath sounds and feels moving through your nasal cavity. Shift forward to all fours, a tabletop position, and begin to move through some rounds of cat-cow. Drop your belly, lift your chin and your chest up to the sky. And then push the floor away, round your upper back, tuck your chin to your chest. Continue to move through these rounds of cat-cow in a way that feels natural, organic, and good to you. Circle your neck and your tailbone. Lengthen the body front to back, side to side. And continue to move the breath with rhythm and ease. Make your way back to a neutral tabletop. Stretch your right arm forward with your thumb pointing up like you could shake hands hello with the front wall. And stretch your left leg behind you with all five of your toes pointing down. Look forward. Hug your belly in. Lift your thumb and your heel a little bit higher. Take a full inhale. Exhale your elbow to your knee. Squeeze it in tight. Inhale front and back. Elbow to knee, exhale. One more front and back, inhale. Elbow to knee, exhale. Set your hand and your knee back on the floor. Stretch your left arm forward with your thumb pointing up and take your right leg back with all five of your toes pointing towards the floor. Look forward. Hug your belly in. Lift your thumb and your heel two inches higher. Big breath in. Elbow to knee. Front and back inhale. Elbow to knee. Exhale. One more. Front and back. Exhale. Elbow to knee. Set your hand and your knee back on the floor. 
Take a full breath in. Downward facing dog with your exhaled breath. Lift your tailbone to the sky. Swim around in your down dog a little bit. Bend, pedal, sway your hips from side to side. Welcome yourself home to this first downward dog. Continue to breathe in and out. Send your right leg behind you, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, stack your right hip on top of your left. Point your foot, flex your foot, circle your ankle, one direction, then the other. Straighten your leg, come back to three-legged dog. Take a full breath in. High crescent lunge, step your right foot forward. Always permission to set your left knee on the floor and take a low crescent lunge. Reach your arms up over your head, spread your fingers and look forward. Gently pull your belly into your spine and find your breath in and out of your nose. Full inhale, bring your palms to touch at the center of your chest, turn and twist to the right, hook your left elbow over your right knee. You can also put your left hand on the floor and take this twist from the ground. Look to the right. And if it's there for you, spread your fingers apart from earth to sky. One hand reaches down, the other hand reaches up. Stay for an inhale and an exhale. Warrior two, sweep open, ground your back foot, Look forward, spread your fingers, lift your shoulders up to your ears and roll them down your back. Hug your shoulder blades into your spine. Reverse your warrior. Reach your right fingertips up to the ceiling and stretch your whole right side body. Take a big breath in, extended side angle. If you have a block handy, put it outside of your right ankle, right hand on the block, left hand to the sky. You can also touch your right fingertips to the floor or put your right forearm on top of your right thigh. Set your gaze, find your breath. And keep the focus on this present moment, right here, right now. Take a full inhale. Put your left hand on the floor. Step back to plank pose. Look forward. Always permission to plank on your knees. Hug your belly in for five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Push the floor away, tailbone to the sky. Stretch your left leg behind you, three legged dog. Bend your knee. Stack your left hip on top of your right. Point your foot, flex your foot, circle your ankle one direction and then the other.
Back to three-legged dog, straighten your leg. High crescent lunge, step your left foot forward. Always permission to take low lunge by putting your right knee on the floor. Reach your arms up over your head. Spread your fingers, look forward, and stay committed to the breath moving in and out of your body with clarity and ease. Full inhale. Palms touch at the center of your chest. Turn and twist to the left. Hook your right elbow over your knee or put your right hand on the floor. You choose. Set your eyes. And if it's there for you, spread your hands high and low from earth to sky. Full breath in. Warrior two, sweep open, ground your back foot. Your front heel lines up with your back arch. There's a long space between your feet and a bend in your front knee. Look forward, spread your fingers. Reverse your warrior, reach your left hand to the sky. Look up at your fingers and spread your fingers wide. Take a full inhale. Extended side angle. Either grab a block and put it outside of your left ankle or put your hand on the floor or left forearm to left knee. You decide. Stretch your right hand to the sky. Set your gaze and presence yourself. Big breaths in and out of your nose. Listen, one more inhale. Come down to your knees, camel pose. Stand up on your knees, put your hands on your low back. Take a big breath in to lift the front side of your body and then gently guide your hips forward, open your chest to the ceiling and look up. Squeeze your elbows into your spine. Inhale your chin back up to neutral, plant your hands, downward facing dog. Pick your heels up off the mat, bend your knees, Look forward, step to the top. Halfway lift, forward fold. High mountain pose, stand up tall, reach your arms over your head and sink into chair pose. Bend your knees. If you can, bring your thighs to touch. Take a full breath in. Pull your palms to the center of your chest, turn and twist to the right, hook your left elbow over your right knee, or put your left fingertips on the floor and your right hand on your low back. You choose. If it's there for you, spread your hands apart from earth to sky. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. One, fold forward. Yogi toe lock, open up your feet hip width. Take your two piece fingers, wrap them around your big toes and gently pull the crown of your head towards the floor. Shake your head out, yes and no. Take any movement here that feels good to you. Release your toes, bring your feet together, stand up, high mountain pose, reach your arms up over your head and sink back into your chair. 
Full breath in. Palms touch at the center of your chest. Turn and twist to the left. Hook your right elbow over your knee or put your right fingertips on the floor and your left hand on your low back. If it's the next right thing, spread your fingers high and low. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Bow forward. Open up your feet hip width. Gorilla pose. Slide your hands underneath your feet and let the crown of your head fall towards the earth. You can wiggle your toes, give yourself a nice little hand wrist massage. Shake your head out, yes and no. Crow pose. Release your bind. Put your hands on the floor shoulder width apart and step your feet about eight inches back with your big toes touching. Begin to lift your heels up off the floor, bend your elbows back, and snuggle your knees to your armpits. Look forward, hug your belly in, and maybe your big toes float off the floor today and maybe they stay right on the earth. Do the next right thing and just see where you are in this pose today. No pressure for it to look any particular way. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Set your feet down. Meet me in a squat. Open your feet wide. Turn your toes out and sink your booty down. Hands to heart center. Look forward. Roll to your booty, boat pose. Balance on your sit bones. Float your feet off the floor and put your hands behind your thighs. Pull your chest forward and lift your chin up. If it's the next right thing, stretch your fingertips forward. You're here for five, four, three. Lift your heart up for two and one. Slowly lower down to your back. Happy baby, reach for the pinky toe edges of your feet. And if that's not there for you today, catch your knees, your thighs, or something closer. And just take a little bit of movement. Notice how this feels in your hips. Continue to breathe. Release your feet, pull your knees to your chest, and wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a big, tight squeeze. Make your way to Shavasana. Come to lie down on your back. Let your feet flop out heavy towards the sides. Lift your shoulders up and slide your shoulder blades underneath your body. If it's comfortable to you, Close your eyes. I invite you to do nothing, to be still and at ease. Your challenge in this pose is to allow rest. We won't be here for long, but just enough time to settle the body. a long, 
full, deep breath in and slowly empty it out. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your ankles and your wrists. Stretch your arms over your head and take a big full body stretch from fingers to toes. Pull your knees to your chest and roll over to a comfortable side. And gently make your way up to a seat. Bring your palms to touch at the center of your chest. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. You don't have to call it anything or name it. Just notice. Pull your thumbs to the center of your forehead and gently bow your head towards your heart. in honor of you and me and this practice that we share. I bow to you, dear friend, and say namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider joining my Patreon. You can find the link in the show notes.